Joining me now is Robert Greenwald, founder of Brave New Films. Uh, Brave New Films has done a very extensive documentary on Walmart. Mr. Greenwald, good to have you with us tonight. Did you expect this to eventually happen, what you saw today in numerous cities? A protest by workers saying that this is a bad place to work and we deserve more. Absolutely. I expected it. I hope for it. I'm absolutely thrilled. And I think we all need to speak and support those incredibly brave workers who are making, remember, on average $8.81 an hour, Ed. And the Walmart, the Walton family is worth $150 billion. They never worked a day in their life for that money. How is Walmart a bad player outside of the wage? I understand that they have been very adamant about fighting any kind of collective bargaining situation, but how have they been a bad player to their employees? Well, when we spent a year working on the Walmart film, and it's basically built into the DNA of that company the notion that you do anything for another nickel. You squeeze the workers, you squeeze the overseas factories, you bribe foreign countries, as we saw the recent scandal in Mexico that was reported by David Barstow in the New York Times. But it's all driven by capitalism run wild. No restraints, no protections, and the justification that it's okay for me to do anything to you. So the CEO of Walmart makes $36 million this year, and the workers averaging $8.81 an hour. Mr. Greenwald, do you think that this is the start of something bigger when it comes to workers in America? I mean, we saw the fast food workers, now we're seeing the Walmart workers in protest. What's this mean? Uh, it's absolutely thrilling, Ed, and I think it is the beginning of something, but I think we all have a job to do. I think we all have work to do to support these folks, to support our Walmart, to support the fast food workers to help them in every way we can well, what do you to think organize they can them. What, what do you think they can accomplish? Well, I think what they can accomplish is, first of all, raising the issue and letting people know there's a problem. And ultimately, I believe in, they will be able to accomplish higher wages, a higher minimum wage, and changing this inequity that's existing in our country right now. All right. Mr. Greenwald, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, switch subjects on you because I know that you've done a lot of work in the Middle East. I want to ask you about uh, the handling uh, of Syria by this president and where the Congress seems to be going. Your thoughts on what has unfolded? Well, you know, it's, it feels in some ways, Ed, like a Shakespearean tragedy. The president, who many of us supported and worked for, to his credit, took the issue to Congress. But now, as with all wars, we're seeing distortions, we're seeing manipulation of the facts, and we're seeing an effort to scare the hell out of us, Ed. And we shouldn't be allow the administration to do that and we should be pressuring our elected officials who are hearing over and over again this is not the solution yeah. to make the Syrian people safer or to make us safer. Vladimir Putin says that John Kerry is lying and he knows it and it's sad. What do you make of that? Well uh, it's tragic if in fact he is lying and knows it. Uh, I think what we need to do though, and again it's an extraordinary moment for democracy, for organizing, and for so many Americans across the political stripe, and you've been amazing in this, Ed, saying no. War can't solve the problems. Mm. We saw it in Vietnam. We saw it in Iraq. We, we, we saw it in Afghanistan. And we're going to see it again in Syria. We need to connect those dots and have people say enough is enough. Mr. Greenwald, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. We'll revisit the subject with you later. Thank you.